Hi there, this is Sandra Wiley, and I am here again with Gary Boomer. And Gary and I, the last time, talked about COVID-19 and how that is affecting some of our firms and the leadership within the firms. And he mentioned on that video um, about a pivot plan. So in this, in this next 10 minutes or so, I would love Gary to talk about how important that is within this time of our lives um, where we really do need to pivot a little and figure out a little bit different direction than we thought when we started this year. So Gary, welcome to the webinar, welcome to the recording, and tell us all about the pivot plan. Where'd that start from and how have you used it? Give us a little background. Well, thanks and I hope everyone is staying safe and well out there today because this has certainly impacted all of us. And I kind of get to share with you what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, because uh, many of you know that I've been a part of Strategic Coach for 25 years. And Dan Sullivan has meant a lot to our company and to me personally, helped me with my thinking and got me to think outside, I wouldn't say the box, but outside of the profession. And I found out that I definitely was an entrepreneur from the day I started. And that introduced me to several other resources that have been quite influential. But as I got to thinking about this, and you'll see the document I'm going to share with you is dated March 22nd. And I can, as a quick start person, and that's somebody that sees opportunity quickly, I could see a lot of opportunities. And my nature is to go after those opportunities immediately. So I said, I've got to have a filter on those opportunities to control myself and also provide some vision within the firm. So I said, you know, if you don't take care of yourself, the firm's not going to mean a lot. So I said, let's get a pivot plan for the next 90 days for both personal and myself. And then, Sandra, as you know, we do the DOS exercise often. And the biggest challenge with our clients is they want to list every possibility as a danger, opportunity, and strength. So I said, I've got to limit myself to the top three. So what you're seeing here is after elimination of other things, balancing and resources, timing, everything comes into play. I said, what are the three things that I can do personally for the next 90 days so that when we come out of this, we're really ready to go? And this won't necessarily apply to you, but it might. But the form that we can share with you, and I'm showing you the rough draft when this started approximately two and a half weeks ago. Today, we have a branded version. It looks nice. It's been through marketing. But this was just the spreadsheet. And I guess I'm just like the rest of you. When I have a problem, it's easy to go to a spreadsheet to get it digitized and get it the thought process. So you'll see at the top there, uh, I'm not going to go through all of these, and but I've got different projects. And for me, it was to stay healthy and stay well. And so exercise was important. My biggest challenge has been keeping the fitness center open here in the condominium building. Fortunately, I'm on the board, so I have a vote, and we've been able to uh, keep people socially distanced, and uh, we've kept that open. Also, the reading has been very, very important. I've read a couple of great books that uh, really forecast what this could be. They didn't have the timing down, but I just read Peter Diamandis's uh, newest book on the future is quicker than you think. And then Peter Zeehan, who's a geopolitical person, and there's a lot in there you need to know about the world and we've been hearing some of that about china and other countries don't think you should isolate because that's the first thing that people do when they're in a crisis they tend to isolate and don't talk to others so i think we're still going to see globalization in some ways we're going to see borders in another so then the third thing is some regular communication so i said i've got to have meetings with our shareholders, our people, and nothing else that keeps my confidence up, seeing how they're thinking. And boy, that's true. We set them up like this meeting with Zoom. 
we have a regular Monday morning meeting. We have meetings throughout the week. Uh, we know more is about Zoom. We've learned more in the last two weeks than probably in the last two years. But um, th those are the three things that I thought were really important and for me personally. And then I said, who can I use? Well, we use Delegate Solutions, which is an outside sourced administrative assistant. And that, since we've been using for a year and a half, that's working out well for all of our consultants. So Sandra, that's just the, the personal part. Do you say anything there that you want to comment on? Well, I got to tell you, when you came back with this and you were talking about it a couple of weeks ago, I think all of us kind of gravitated to it and we grabbed it and we said, oh my gosh, we should do this too. And I think almost everyone at Boomer Consulting has done this exercise. And the thing that I really love about it is it is not overwhelming. It doesn't make you feel like, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. It felt like this is doable and these are the most important things to do. And I think it gave us a ton of confidence as a company, not just individually. So um, I would, I think that is, super important for people right now. And um, so would you suggest that every leader and maybe every person in the firm should do their own pivot plan right now? Yes, because it's easy to just get in action and I'm a quick start. So if I get paralyzed, nothing's gonna happen. So I have to stay in action. So the first thing I did is uh, for, the third thing, and we'll get to this minute, is the blog. I sat down and did a project filter, determining how important that was, what it would look like if we did this blog, what it would look like if we didn't do it, and what had to happen for it to be successful in my mind. Then I gave it to the rest of our, I gave it to marketing, I gave it to the rest of our leadership team. And the big thing that came out of that was we said, don't just you do it, let's all do it in teams and we can put this information out much quicker. It's going to have more in-depth insight because people in talent, people in leadership, people in processes, technology and growth, the five key areas are all going to be able to contribute this and our clients be able to get that much quicker. Absolutely. So I love the fact too that when you built this um, resource for us, you also put the firm in there. So you put, and it was very interesting to me that you put personal first and then you put the firm under that. And I love that because if you care for yourself, then the firm is a little easier to handle, right? But you have to have that good self-care also. So talk about the firm. What do you think has happened within Boomer Consulting with you doing this a couple of weeks ago? Well, I was talking to some leading partners and just, asking if there's anything we could do to help, what they were thinking. And they all said, we got more work than we can do right now. But I'm worried about cash flow in 90 days. Yeah. And they all said, we've got to get our partners billing. That's a responsibility of theirs. So immediately cash flow popped into my mind and protecting our resources. I left this blank. I'll, I'll tell you that uh, I started off with several hundred thousand. Now I'm into the million range of having a, a sweep or a, re, uh, a safety net for the company. And I didn't know at the time about the loan quali qualifications. And I'll say thanks to our CPA firm and CPA firms throughout the country, you're really on the front line. You made this happen, plus a call to a bank and getting in line. We see a lot of people today that are still trying to figure out whether they'll qualify and who they're going to go to, but the CPAs have really led this effort. So you'll see that's already happened. We've been approved by the SBA. We'll probably have the deposit within two or three days. That goes into our fund to protect us if this goes on longer. Plus we'll earn it out. We're not going to terminate. In fact, we have one position we're looking for in our uh, solutions uh, advisor area. The other thing was the virtual communities. While we knew a lot and were using Zoom, we'd used all the other tools out there for webinars for the last 10 years. In fact, I tell people I started using video conferencing in 1992 when it cost $150 an hour for the line charges. 
And today we're learning how to do polling. We're, we're, and we had other tools, but now it's all here in one package. We hear about security and, and uh, we've already resolved those or the vendors resolved those. But we've, we've also upgraded our equipment. The microphones are better. Uh, and we just don't fumble around and have a lot of technology problems. The meetings pretty well go off as planned. And, and then the last one was the blog. So those were the three things. And it's not important to have the same as I do. Sandra's got different. Um, but I think as a company, you've got to come together and walk, operate from one page. And we now have a pivot plan at Boomer Consulting in five areas and it's amazing how many things came from the back burner of our strategic plan to the front burner during this period of time. I agree. And I got to tell you, you're, you've spoken about a few of these things now, but when we came together and talked about what our pivot plan as a company was going to be, what we were going to focus on, how we, we keep our confidence high for our clients, there were, um, we used a lot of C words as we were doing that. I think now we have eight but you've already mentioned a couple here, right? You've talked about, you've got to have um, confidence. You've got, to have, um, you've got to have a community around you. Um, whether your community is your team within your, you know, the four walls of your firm, or it's a community that you work with outside. Um, and cash was the other one that you talked about. So there's a lot of those C words that help guide us right now. Um, when you think about that, how, and you talked about strategic coach, which I will forever be thankful that when I started working with you many years ago, we started strategic coach then, and it still guides. It's a guiding principle for us. Everything that they teach us is part of our company. It's embedded. How has that been a comfort to you and a help to you as we have navigated through the beginning of this COVID-19 exploration that we're in? Well, Dan's a great coach and, uh, you know, Dan's just a year or two older than I am. And so he's been through some of the same things, uh, but he's also been through some different things in life. And I think coach really taught us to plan and, and um, do the 90 day game plans, hold ourselves accountable, hold others accountable because if you want to move from results where you are today to results where you want to be in the future, the quickest way to do that is through accountability. And, and I think firms know that, but they haven't had a crisis that's really demanded. And we're, we have an unusual profession. We have young people coming into the profession. We have the middle people that still have 20 years. And then we have the people that are within five to 10 years of retirement mm -hmm. and their, their vision and their uh, goals and aspirations are different. So it's very important that you can have somebody pull this all together. It's, it's almost like trying to run the country club. <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, it's tough to yeah. keep everyone happy every day. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So the other thing that we have found interesting and kind of to dovetail on the community thing is that obviously we have our communities that we run, our technology circles, managing partner circle, and I think there's eight or nine of them now. Um, and our reality is that those folks, uh, we've been impressed at, at how far ahead they are compared to some of the other firms that we've, that we've been talking to. When it was time to, you know, when they made their plan, it wasn't about how to go out and try to find the technology so people could work at home. It was already done. Um, so their plan, they start at a higher level than some of the other, some of their competitors out there. So we're very proud about that. Um, but when we think about the plans today, and if you were gonna make a call to action for some of the firms that are out there today, talk about two different calls to action. If you feel like you're that firm that's a bit behind and that you didn't do everything possible to be ready for what we're going through right now, what would you, what would you coach them to do right now? And then I'd also like to hear for those firms that are out on the cutting edge, they they were ready for uh, maybe the recession. They were ready. For, they had cash in the bank. They have great technology. What should they be working on now? 
Um, what would you have them maybe put one or two things on their plan? Well, let, let me start with the ones that are fun. Those okay. <laughs> that are out there ready to go. Yeah. I think you pivot and you strike. Uh, it's going to make the excitement for people. You're going to keep them engaged. It's going to keep your clients engaged because you're offering what they want in consulting and advisory services. They expect you to do the other. This is an and proposition. On the other side, if you have a partner group that's not in alignment or you have some that don't want to change, you're going to have to make some tough decisions. And probably the best way to do that is through a visioning project and a strategic planning project. And when I say project, don't make them, don't, you don't have to think this is long term. You can do this in your firm in, in less than a week and do a very good job. In fact, you'll do a much better job if you try to do it over two to a three day period than if you try three months. Uh, time is of the essence right now. Yeah. And some people are going to have to swallow their egos. You're going to, uh, I was on a call with some consultants and managing partners last week. One of the concerns is what happens in some of these firms deferred compensation? Are your agreements up to date? You know, I could scare you here with some of the bad things, but most of the firms are going to work themselves through it. But I think those are the tips I'd give you today. I love that. You know, it was interesting. Uh, you mentioned this before, you know, that you had, um, been through some tough times in your lifetime. I'm sure I have too. I'm sure everybody out there that has, you know, um, lived for quite a while, but I was talking to a good friend the other day and he's in his nineties. And, um, I went up and stood outside of his window at the, at the home and I waved at him and he said, Oh, we're going to kick this COVID's butt. <laughs> and of course he's been through, you know, it's, it's all in perspective. Right. And I am not minimizing what we are going through at not even a little bit. But his perspective was that, you know, this wasn't anything compared to what maybe we've been, what he had been through before. Um, so I would encourage people to keep their spirits high and to keep their confidence high. And I know that by doing this, if you're a leader in your firm, if you do the plan, the pivot plan first, and then share that, that was the thing that was inspiring for everyone at Boomer Consulting. Gary did the pivot plan. He came to the team. He gave it to everyone so that they could see what his pivot plan was going to be. And then he said, do your own. And it was inspiring. And so if you're a leader out there, that is what you need to do. Do the pivot plan for yourself first and then share it. Don't keep it locked in a drawer somewhere. Um, so I would thank Gary for doing that for us. And I'm using that with my clients now. So um, you know, one of the things we're doing now is we're on the phone almost every day with clients. And so I am working the plan with them and I um, find it to be a great tool. So, and I believe we're going to have it on the website for you. So um, you will be able to download it and use it. And um, so Gary, I guess the last parting, parting words here. Um, if you were going to share like one or two tips with the, with the audience um, on this whole COVID-19 thing and some things that you would inspire them to do right now. What do, what do they need to do um, as we're closing out today? Another C word for one would be collaborate. You have a lot of peers out there that are willing to help you. You don't have to take something that you know very little about and try to make sense of it. You have access to resources. And finally, just like this tool, pay it forward. Dan Sullivan inspired me to do this. Uh, and so pay it forward, help your clients out. They'll be great clients in the future if you get them through this. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Gary. Thanks to our audience. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe and uh, we, will, we will get through this. Have a great day. Bye.